Y'all keep asking me for a boat update, so here it is. I'm gonna keep this real quick. How long has it been since I've had my boat not in my backyard? Maybe three months now, something like that, nine weeks? It's been a while. I haven't had my boat in so long. <laughs> but this morning I went and I checked it out. They finally took the engine off my boat. The fiberglass dive platform that they're gonna put on the back of the boat is done. Now they just need to measure it, make sure it fits, then they're gonna powder coat it. They're gonna open up the old transom, take it off, check all the stringers inside the boat, make sure that it's stable and strong still. Then they're gonna completely close the transom off, put the dive platform on, and put the engine on a dive bracket. So the engine's gonna actually sit about two and a half feet further back than it's currently sitting off the new dive platform. So my 24 and a half foot boat is gonna be almost a 27 foot boat. Dang! I'm gonna have a 27 foot boat to finish the dive platform, to get it powder coated, to get it attached, to get everything fiberglass and the new engine put on. Optimistically, I'm gonna say three weeks. Pessimistically, because it's been a long time. I'm gonna say maybe five or six weeks. I don't know. And the last two fishing trips I went on, we just got completely hammered by the waves and it was rough. It was rough fishing, but I'm cutting those videos together and I'm gonna try to put a video out in a few days for you guys. I'm trying my best here. This weekend though, I might be doing an offshore trip with a charter guy down south. I think off Marathon. The wind has been kind of dying down. Eh, it's not terrible. It's still pretty windy, but this weekend we might get a couple days not too windy and I might have an offshore charter trip planned out of Marathon. Fingers crossed. I hope that's gonna be a great video, but if you're dying to see some content, I have been putting out out some videos in these windy days I have been putting out tutorial videos on the red white and blue outdoors YouTube channel I put a video out um, how to patch reef fish I put another tutorial video out on how to make sweet heat pulled pork sandwiches the next tutorial I'm working on is how to rig a weedless squid rig with an actual squid on it how to troll it what kind of fish you can catch on it so if you want to check out tutorial videos that are a little more in depth head over to red white and blue outdoors youtube channel give it a subscribe because that is where i'm posting videos that's my more how-to tutorial videos for you guys that want to get a little more in depth into catching fish cooking fish all that stuff maybe we can hit a thousand subscribers on that channel come on hit that subscribe button. And not only do I have a bunch of tutorial videos going on the Red, White, and Blue Outdoors YouTube channel, but on the website, rwboutdoors.com, we got the seasonings back in stock. We launched rwboutdoors.com on the 28th. That was an awesome launch. We got a bunch of orders and we're just finally catching up on getting those orders out. And it's finally gonna go back to normal, fast shipping. We were a little overwhelmed for a few days, but it's okay. We got a grip on it. And I know we sold out of our seasonings and you guys have been asking for them. They're officially back. They're back in stock. We got our blackening, our sweet heat, and our reaper. Definitely check those out. Check out our clothing too. All of our shirts are printed here, cut here, and sewn here, right here in Florida. Made in the USA, super high quality material. We got camo patterns, we got our fish patterns. Check them out at rwboutdoors.com. In 10 days, me and my buddy got a turkey hunt planned. My buddy Lee that I went duck hunting with, and this is gonna be my first time ever turkey hunting. I have no idea what we're doing. We're going to public land and it's gonna be a major fingers cross trip And I've been having extreme problems with this camera that I'm holding right now. This is a shot of it It's the Sony NX 80 cam and the problem that I have with it is the second I take it outside for whatever reason It just stops working if I put this camera in my camera bag and I take it on the boat and I take it out It won't turn on. I don't know what's causing that issue. It could be an internal battery issue Maybe some kind of loose connection maybe an overheating issue, but I've taken this camera offshore for years years and I've never had an overheating issue. So I just ordered a big lens for my Sony a6400. I ordered a mic for it. I ordered a cage for it and a bunch of accessories that I should get those in about a week. And that's going to be the new South Florida fishing channel camera. And hopefully it captures a turkey shot and lots of fishing shots. Let's go look at some nature. Come on. I know you guys need to see a little bit of sunshine. A little backyard update. I got a nice fire pit ready to go. I've been cutting a lot of wood. Caitlin keeps putting green leaves in the fire. She doesn't know it makes a lot of smoke. 
I always tell her, don't put this in the fireplace, it's gonna smoke us out. But she doesn't listen. This is my avocado plant. It's gotten freaking huge. There's actually two of them in there. Put a lot of love into that plant. These are my bird feeders. I got a bird bath. We get a lot of squirrels coming in now, a lot of birds. Pretty proud of that. Oh. We got doves flying around. Oh. Well, thank you guys for watching this real quick update video. Everything we make and sell on red, white, and blue outdoors, rwboutdoors.com. All our rigs are tied here in the U.S. Our packaging's printed in the U.S. Our bags are made in the U.S. Same with all of our clothing. And every sale super, super tremendously supports this channel. Let's me keep making more fishing videos. So big thank you to everyone that's been supporting us and definitely check out the new YouTube channel. I'll link it in the video description below, red, white, and blue outdoors. That's gonna be all the tutorial videos. And then South Florida Fishing Channel. This channel right here is, it's a little bit of how to fish, but it's a lot of entertainment. It's a lot of me trying new stuff. Just going out there into the wild and trying to catch a beast. Ah, oh, it never gets old. Cheers guys, and thank you for watching.